Hey guys, um, so I actually have a really important message and I, I think it's one that really needs to be heard at the moment. So I just wanna remind everyone that um, we are all actually fighting for the same thing. Remember, we're fighting for freedom. Freedom of choice, freedom of discussion, freedom of thought, freedom of opinion, freedom to debate, etc. Freedom to disagree with one another and still be friends and still discuss those, dis those disagreements. And the reason I'm prefacing this talk that way is because I wanna talk about the political division that is happening amongst our communities. Now, we've spent two really hard, difficult years building momentum for the freedom movement for the fundamental goal of getting our freedoms back, or at least getting some of them back and actually getting more because we were under an illusion of freedom, but that's beside the point. And what I'm seeing is happening is that politics is now dividing these strong communities that we've made. And I would hate for uh, us to be divided in any way. And I just wanna remind you guys that <laughs> common uh, people who have common enemies are friends or they should be for that moment in time anyway. And just remember, we, have, we all have one thing in common. We want our freedoms and liberties back. And two, we wanna put Labor, Liberal and Greens last, okay? The other stuff doesn't matter. Or if it does, let's talk about it. Remember, we're fighting for freedom of choice, right? So if I choose to support UAP and you choose to support a, a single candidate for a, from a different party or a different party, then great, that's fine. Like, we all have the same goal in mind here, right? So I shouldn't put you down for your opinions or dis decisions and you shouldn't put me down for mine either. And that goes for each other as well. There is professional infiltrators and trolls that have found a crack in the freedom movement and they are exploiting the heck out of it and we can't fall for it, okay? Remember, debate is good. If you meet someone who disagrees with your political opinions, that's fine. That's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for freedom of debate and discussion. So debate it if you want to, but then find commonality again because you have a common ground. We have a common enemy, okay? And just remember that. Now, the federal election's coming up. So, you know, you know, talking about politics didn't used to be so common, but now it really is kind of like talking about our medical choices. So the discussions are gonna come up a lot. Um, I have a platform, I'm gonna spread my opinion, but I'm also gonna let people have their own opinions as well. And when I say that, I just mean, I mean, it's great to have an opinion, but don't vilify people for it, you know? Don't put them down. Remember, we wanna be accepted in, in society the way that, you know, we, the way that we feel we should. So that means we need to accept each other too. We need to be an example of what we're actually trying to achieve here, right? Now. There is so many different ways to skin a cat, okay? There are, in the freedom movement, there are clearly three divisions. What I can tell so far is there's people who don't want anything to do with politics and don't plan on voting because the whole system is corrupt. There's people who only want to support independence um, and don't, don't want to support a party because parties are corrupt. And then there's people who want to get into the corrupt system to change it so that it's not so corrupt. Now. Every single opinion has validity, like you're entitled to your own opinion. Um, I have my, my opinion is that we need to get into the corrupt system in order to make it not corrupt, but that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe your opinion's wrong, whatever, maybe none of us are wrong and we're all just trying to do the best we can here. Um, the country is stuffed and we're just trying to get it back and everyone has different opinions and ideas on how to do that and that's okay. That's what a free society does. It, it talks about things and it brings ideas up. Um, so yeah, with the upcoming election, it's gonna get dirty. And just remember that most of the negative comments are actually professional infiltrators. Just remember, they're very clever. They're not stupid. Liberal and Labor are also not stupid. And they would be paying unlimited amounts of money to break up the freedom movement, you know that. And we're not, gonna, we're not gonna get anywhere if we stay divided. So no matter what your focus is, no matter who you're supporting, I support you. Please support my decisions too. Please support each other's decisions. And just know that we all have the right intentions. We all have 
the common intention of getting our freedoms back. And hopefully one of us is right and we can get our freedoms back, but we aren't gonna get them if we keep fighting, all right? I'm just, it's just that simple, all right? Let's disagree, let's talk about it. But at the end of the day, let's stay united and fight this together, no matter what way we're doing it, we need to stay shoulder to shoulder. You know, people that were walking together in protest a year ago, shoulder to shoulder, and now fighting because they have different political party affiliations or whatever. It's really, guys, we have a common goal. Stick to it, okay? Stay strong, stay focused, and I will see you in the newly liberated society that we're building right now if we stay united. Okay, good luck to everyone in Canberra, by the way.